Well, pleased to welcome in uh, goaltender Cam Talbot after another skate here at the Scotiabank Saddle. Don't finish off the, the scrimmage on Sunday night and now back to kind of a game group here for the Calgary Flames today. And uh, Cam, first of all, maybe just give us a sense of how you're feeling now here after uh, the first week of on-ice sessions in training camp 2.0. Yeah, you know, I feel pretty good going into into today after last night. You know, there's some good things to build off of, some things to work on, but uh, you know, as far as just being out there with the full group again, it's just uh, really nice to, to be around all the boys again. I would imagine it uh, takes on a, a different feel completely when you get an opportunity to have uh, kind of a game day, you know, feel right from the start to finish. You get the morning skate, then come back for the game, uh, and just probably for a goaltender, a little, uh, you know, quite a bit different from what you had seen throughout the course of the week. Yeah, I think that they're setting it up uh, in, a, in a way that's getting us in, in our back in our routines and stuff like that. I mean, you take four months off, and sometimes you got to remember, okay, what do I do before this meeting, or what do I do after this meeting? So it's kind of smart for them to to give us an opportunity to come in and get our routines back down and get set up and, and ready for the first exhibition game in Edmonton and then ultimately August 1st. Yeah, what for you is the most important part of uh, those game situations? I mean, obviously you got a lot of work uh, throughout the first five days of on-ice sessions, but when you have actual game-type conditions, what is it uh, that you're trying to take away in the early part? Yeah, with our skate last week, we only had eight guys, so it was tough to, to mimic the all the in-game action and and plays and stuff like that. So last night it was just more or less reading off the rush, um, in zone reads with you know ten guys coming at you. Um, you know, it's just getting those reads back and being able to read off all the guys in front of you. I mean, my my timing and everything feels pretty good. Um, my my cardio feels good. I feel great out there. My strength and everything. But uh, sometimes just those little reads in game uh, that you just need to tighten up. And you can see a little bit of it. Sometimes I had it. Sometimes I didn't last night. But that's why we're doing what we're doing. And you just keep progressing until uh, until August first. You know, it's interesting because, uh, you know, a couple of guys mentioned what those uh, that second group throughout the week and talking about some of the reps and the skating, obviously, they had. You can't necessarily mimic the scrimmaging part, but uh, as far as the puck touches and some of the battles throughout the course of those uh, first five days of on-ice sessions, they were good. I mean, what about for you? What did you kind of take away from those when in a smaller group like that, maybe the intensity and seeing some of that? Yeah, we definitely had an intense group. I mean, with the eight guys, they were going as hard as they possibly could, and and uh, we took a lot of pride in that. We were a small group, but we knew that we were going to come every day and work. And you know, I got a lot of stuff off the rush, but again, not a not a whole lot of stuff in zone and you know down low and stuff like that. So uh, the scrimmages and practices like today, when we're playing three on three down low, and you get a full group out there and and it's game speed, it's uh, it's a little bit more, uh, you know, better better for the goalies and more game-like action. So, I mean, last week I got a lot of stuff off the rush and, and stuff like that, but uh, obviously we need the in-game reads as well, which is uh, what we're building off of last night and today. Uh, what about from your vantage point in, t uh, in terms of the scrimmage last night, seeing some of the special teams uh, and just uh, how the game kind of evolved uh, from uh, outside of the crease and just sort of what you saw from your teammates? You know, I saw a lot of hard work last night. You weren't wasn't exactly sure how it was going to come out, if it was going to be a shinny match or if guys were going to go hard. But, I mean, there was tight checking all night. You could tell it was a little sloppy off the start. Guys were getting their legs under them and, and feeling the puck really. But after that, everybody kind of settled down, and, and you could tell it got really competitive and no one wanted to give up that next goal. So uh, we carried that over into into the special teams battles and stuff like that, and um, it's just uh, another good night to build off of. And just one last one for me, Cam, and that's, uh, you know, I guess less than a week now heading up to Edmonton. I mean, uh, it's amazing how fast that this is flying by, but what do you make of the opportunity and how much are you looking forward to, you know, having a chance to chase the Stanley Cup here? Anytime you get a chance to chase the Stanley Cup, it's it's an unbelievable opportunity. And obviously with a, a bigger field this year, you got to win an extra three games. But um, I really liked what I've seen from our group so far coming in. Uh, everyone came in. We're excited to be back. We're excited to be back as a group. Uh, we're ready to push each other in the next couple weeks, and we're going to be ready when, when the puck drops. Awesome. Appreciate the time, and uh, all the best as training camp rolls on. Thank you.